Have you ever heard of the player who faked both his grandmother's deaths in order to avoid playing football? Now we've all been there, right? When we have things to do, but we really don't want to do it. Steven Ireland took that to a whole new level. In 2007, he had a man of the match performance for Man City, and afterwards he got called up for the Irish team. 99% of people would not classify playing football for your country as a chore, but then again, Steven Ireland was different class. When he got called up for that game for Ireland, he claimed that he was sick. The problem was that the Irish manager had just seen him put on a man of the match performance for Manchester City live on TV. He decided to tell a little white lie afterwards and claim that his grandmother, Patricia Tallon, had died. That was all well and good until Patricia read about her own death in the national newspaper and rebutted the claim. She argued that had she indeed been dead, she wouldn't have been able to read the article. Very few people could argue against the case. Ireland then said it was his paternal grandmother that had died, something that Brenda Kitchener, his paternal grandmother, wasn't too happy about when she read about her own death in the national newspaper. Perhaps lacking a little bit of creativity, she used the same defense as Patricia when explaining that it was impossible for her to be dead because she was actually reading that news story. Ireland then went on to claim that it was actually his divorced grandfather's partner that had died before realizing who people who are alive can quite easily prove that they are not dead. What's that about footballers not being the sharpest tools in the shed? Ireland had become entangled in such a large web of deceit that he had to come clean in the end. It turns out that his girlfriend had suffered a miscarriage and he just wanted to spend time with her during that difficult time. Ireland's international career never really recovered after the incident. He represented his country a meager six times, which was perhaps not enough for someone of his talent. Some people would even argue that his club career never really recovered from that incident either. Having once been voted Manchester City's Player of the Year, he fell into relative football obscurity until his retirement in 2018. Moral of the story for the young ones out there, honesty is always the best policy.